Before I hear or speak to anybody else, I want to hear and speak to you, God. This one phrase has completely changed my life. In this video, I'm going to be sharing where I got this quote from, how it changed my mornings and my day. And I want you to stick around to the end because I'm going to share how you can implement this phrase or a variation of this phrase in your life. If you're new here, my name is Zer Surigao. And on my channel, I share the highs and lows of living slow for the purpose of pointing you to the better way. Let's jump right into the video. So I first heard this phrase in this book right here called Power Through Prayer by E.M. Bounds. And it was in the chapter called Begin the Day with Prayer. And I want to read for you a quote by E.M. Bounds. Actually, it's not by E.M. Bounds. It's by a guy named Robert Murray McCain. McCain? McCain? However you pronounce his name. But this is what he said. He said, I ought to pray before seeing anyone. Christ arose before day and went into a solitary place. Early will I seek thee. Thou shalt early hear my voice. I feel it is far greater to begin with God, to see his face first, to get my soul near him before it is near another. And so I paraphrased his, his own thing. I created in my own phrase, in my own thought, and I just wrote a little star. I drew a arrow and I wrote in the margin. This is what I wrote. I said, before I see or talk to anyone else, I want to see and talk to God first. And then over time, it just ended up changing. You know, the more and more I just prayed it to myself every morning, it changed then to what it now is when I wake up. God, before I hear or speak to anybody else, I want to hear and speak to you. Ultimately, I keep doing it over and over again is because it has changed two specific areas in my life, my mornings and my day. Let me share with you how it's changed my mornings. So let's just get the most practical thing out of the way. Right here, I'm reading my notes, but I have my phone and practically what this has done is it has changed my attention first thing in the morning. No longer am I picking up my phone, letting my phone dictate my day, but I'm setting the intention now, right? Because on our phone, let's just be honest right now, on our phones, there are countless of apps and messages and things that are vying for our attention. And they are voices, right? When you open up Facebook, there are voices of people digitally who are writing out their opinions on the internet and you read them and you're letting it dictate your day. Same thing with Instagram. Even a picture can invoke a message. This phrase has completely changed my mornings by letting me stop and slow down and say no to the many voices that are vying for my attention first thing in the morning. Instead of saying yes to these multiple voices, I'm saying yes to the one voice that truly matters, and that's God. Like I want the first person that I speak to, the first person that I hear from, the per first person that I spend time with to be God. Rather than being reactive to the many voices that are vying for my attention, I'm being proactive in saying, God, I want to hear your verse, your verse, your voice first. And so let me just share with you what that looks like for me in the mornings when I wake up and I say this phrase to myself, God, I want to hear from you first. I want to speak to you first. It means I spend the first moment of my morning in the word of God. In prayer to God, I journal out my prayers. I'm wrestling with God, spending time in his presence. Oftentimes, it's just sitting in silence, being in the silent place with God. Or like, just simply think about it this way. Even if after the morning, the rest of my day was pretty crappy, like it didn't go as planned and everything was just off the hinge. If I spent my morning in the word of God, in prayer with God, talking to God in his presence, then I, the rest of the day doesn't matter. I've won the day because I spent my morning with the Lord. So let me ask you this. What does your morning routine look like? I want you to share it down below in the comments and let me know, do you first thing in the morning spend time with God or is there something else that's vying for your attention that you're giving your attention to? So not only has this phrase changed my mornings, right? Saying, God, before I hear or speak to anybody else, I want to hear and speak to you. Not only has it changed my mornings, but man, it ultimately changes my day. Most of all, it just helps me set the intention for the rest of the day. Like I sit before God, I get to hear from him. I listen to his voice. I 
write down in my journal and I pray to the Holy Spirit. I say, Holy Spirit, what is it that you want me to do today? What is your one thing for me? Like God, I offer my life to you today as a living sacrifice. Do in my life whatever you want to do and I just want to be obedient to you. And so the rest of my day is planned because I'm listening to the Spirit of God telling me what it is he desires for me to do. Or maybe you can even just look at the life of Jesus and think about it this way. And Jesus did amazing, incredible things while he was here on earth. Miracle after miracle after miracle. Great crowds coming to him. He healed many people. He brought the dead to life. He provided the needs of people. Like Jesus was constantly meeting the needs of people. And yet he saw fit that early in the morning he would rise before the sun would come up. He would go to a desolate place so he could be with his heavenly father. He could be with the Father and spend time because he wanted the presence of his Father to be with his Father far greater than he desired sleep itself. And if the Son of God saw it so important and vital to sacrifice sleep to be with the Father, how much more I, who I claim to be a follower of this Jesus, how much more should I then do the same, desire the same? So that's enough about me. I wanna bring this to you. How can this phrase change you? I genuinely believe that God is raising up a generation who are passionate and desire God so much. They desire him early in the morning. They desire him with their whole lives. You know, we need a generation who's gonna rise up and say, when they wake up in the morning, God, I need you more than I need sleep. I need you, God, more than I need my coffee to wake me up. I need you, God, and your approval and what you say about me from your word more than the quick approvals and, and, the, and the little sayings that I can get from people on social media when I read their posts or I would look at their pictures. God, I don't need anybody else's approval. I'm already approved by you. God, I don't need to go to anywhere else or to anyone else. I just need to go to you. I believe God is trying to speak to you. Give him your first fruits. You want to, to win the day, then win the morning. But more than just win the morning, if you want to live your life for God, your day-to-day -day life for God, then give God your morning. And that's exactly what I've been telling myself. Again, I don't want to just point the finger at you three are pointing right back at me. This is my desire that God, I want to give you my life. When I wake up in the morning, I don't want my first thought to be my family. As good as my family is, I don't want that to be the first thing. I don't want be the first thing when I wake up in the morning to be, oh, oh God, like, when am I going to eat for breakfast? Because I the lord knows i don't need to be eating so much like seriously how would this change your life if you woke up first thing in the morning and you said this simple phrase god before i hear or speak to anybody else i want to hear and speak to you maybe this phrase isn't for you maybe there's something else that you can wake up and say to yourself or pray maybe when you wake up in the morning the first thing that you can say is Thank you, God, that I have breath in my lungs. Maybe the first thing you do when you wake up is to just simply say a breath prayer. Or maybe it is the same phrase that I use. But I just want to challenge you. When you wake up in the morning, set your intention. Don't let other voices speak into it. Set your intention. Be clear. If you want God, then tell him, I want you. Before my eyelids even open, as soon as my brain starts churning, tell God, I want you. So what is your phrase? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to gain some dialogue and maybe share some ideas of how we can better set the intention for our mornings. Well, 
Time is love. And so I just want to thank you for showing your love to me by watching this video to the very end. If this video has blessed you, I want to encourage you to give it a thumbs up. If you want to bless somebody else, be sure to share this video with them. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content just like this. I hope you have a blessed day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.